I, it's so interesting speaking because you get to watch an audience in real time react to you. And, um, I always find that it's about four minutes into the talk where the people who seemed reluctant start to warm. And it's usually around a moment where I've told this story about my family being displaced during the pandemic. We we lived in a small apartment at the time um, in Brooklyn and uh, a two bedroom, thousand square foot apartment. My wife and I, we had two little kids and we were just like, I don't, I don't know how to be, get locked into this place for an indefinite amount of time. So we went and we moved in with my parents and, um, you know, I always make this, I always say, so, you know, then we were 40 year olds living with my parents, which felt great. And everybody laughs. And, uh, and then I, um, and then I tell this, this story about me trying to find some kind of sense of meaning or purpose in that displacement. And it's in, it's in that particularly there's this moment where I get kind of quiet and, um, that, that I see the people who seemed perhaps skeptical of me to start to lean in and then I get them the rest of the talk. And, uh, and I think that tells you something, right? Which is, um, you know, look, I, I, I think that everybody very reasonably, I do it, you do it. Everybody, every time they, they interact with anything new, whether it's a person or a thing, they ask a question. And the question is, is this for me or is this not for me? And um, I think that if you're presenting anything, whether you're presenting yourself or you're a marketer presenting a product, like whatever it is, you have to anticipate that question and then try to answer it as fast as possible. And uh, I find that particularly if the thing that you're presenting is yourself and you want people to answer, yes, this is for me, then you need to bring everything that you have and humanity, your own humanity is a pretty big part of that.